Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are back at Dorney Park for another Iron Menace update. On our last update, we focused on the ride being topped off, and if you haven't watched the pilot version of NJC News, that would be the last time we discussed the ride on the channel. Today, in update number 5, let's catch up with all the exciting news and progress that have come from Dorney Park. Firstly, I just want to get this out of the way. On March 16th, the park is hosting a charity event, Dorney Park's version of Winter Chill Out. Uh, tickets are $60 and include an Iron Menace tour. This is the best time to see the ride before it opens in May. Link is in the description. It may be selling out very, very soon. So get your tickets as soon as possible. First, let's start from looking outside the construction site where we can see the tilted loop taking shape and the completed zero G roll and Immelman. The Immelman is very circular and the whole ride seems like it's going to flow spectacularly. Does anyone also notice the ride has a very, very narrow footprint? It's a perfect fit for the Stinger laser space. So now let's take a closer peek in on the site where we can see all the supports are going up for the final inversion and turn into the brakes. We could see a completed track layout within the next few weeks actually. And the progress of this ride has been super exciting and fast. Now, as we drive into the park to go closer to the construction site, let's mention some other news about the project. Firstly, there were two new features that broke during East Coaster, including the replacement restaurant for Dorney Grill and the new gift shop for the ride. Both will be opening with the park when the ride opens, one providing new tastes to this land, and one your Iron Menace merchandise fix. Possessions is confirmed to be leaving and the building is being retrofitted into something new. And now that we're up close, let's take a little peek from inside the park. As we get by Cedar Creek Flyers, it's the perfect time to discuss the re-theme of the ride coming this year. When the park reopens, it'll be known as MT Buckets, helping bring that cohesive theming together for the brand new land. The ride and surrounding land is all coming together perfectly, with the station and maintenance building frame being up and a roof going on very, very soon. The process Dorney has made in just a few short months is nothing short of astonishing. I can't wait to ride and continue to keep you all updated until that is possible. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below and thank you for watching today's update. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. Peace.